Hi, this is Master Angel from Impact Martial Arts. And in this video, we'll be going over two hand techniques, the low knife hand block and the middle knife hand block. We learn low knife hand block, Hadan Sudomaki at Orange Belt, and we learn Chundan Sudomaki, which is middle knife hand block at Green Belt. So these techniques do have some technical details, but overall are not too difficult to follow. So we're gonna have three hand placements that we need to know about. Let's start with low knife hand block. Just as any hand technique, we need a chamber before we do the technique. So our chamber or our ready position for our low knife hand block is going to look like this. What I need to focus on is one, hand at my hip is pulled back and palm down. Two, opposite hand, this would be my blocking hand, is palm in towards my face, like I'm giving myself a little pat on the face. So this is my starting technique. So I wanna be able to pull up to a chamber comfortably. Let's do it three times. One, two, three. Make sure your hip hand is palm down, pulled back, and the other hand is palm in towards your face. Now, I'm gonna step forward with my left leg because my left hand is up towards my face. So I'm gonna use my left foot, step forward. My left hand is gonna act like it's throwing a low block, only instead of a low block, my hand will be open. So that fighting stance, low knife hand block. My opposite hand, that's starting at my chamber, is going to come from here to here. So it's as if I'm turning my wrist over as if I'm presenting something, but it's going to stay on my solar plexus level. So it's not too low, not too far back or anywhere else. So palm down to wrist up. We're gonna try each of those moves singularly three times. So first the blocking hand, one, two, three. Second, the chamber hand, one, two, Three. Now we're gonna throw both of them at the same time. One, two, three. We're gonna do that low knife hand block three more times with the step each time. One, two, three. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So for low knife hand block, one hand comes to my hip, palm down, other hand up to my face, palm in. I step forward with my right foot, low block motion, chamber motion. Let's do the low block first three times. One, two, three. Chamber hand, one, two, three. Now we'll do both hands. One, two, three. Now we're gonna finish up the low knife hand block, stepping each time. So my hands chamber, step and throw the low knife hand block. One, two, Three. The next technique is middle knife hand block. To throw the middle knife hand block, my chamber hand that's at my hip will stay exactly the same and it's going to have the exact same motion. However, the blocking hand, instead of starting up here like we did for low, is now going to meet the chamber hand and they're going to be back to back. Your blocking hand is gonna come out and throw a single knife hand block. This will be the exact same motion as a single knife hand, only in this technique we're gonna do it in a fighting stance. Let's throw that top hand three times. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna throw both hands. One, two, three. Now, let's try it from a chin B position, stepping forwards with our left side, 
three times. A common mistake is that people do not chamber at their hip, but they chamber in front of their belly button. So make sure when you practice that you pull your hand all the way back to your hip. Ready, one, two, three. Now we're gonna do the opposite side. Hip hand, palm down, other hand, palm up. So they're back to back at my hip. I'm gonna go ahead and put my right leg forward and do that single knife hand block three times. Here we go. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna use both hands. One, two, three. Now, starting from the chun B position, I'm going to chamber, step, and throw the knife hand block. Let's do it three times. One, two, three. So those are the directions on how to move your hands for the low and middle blocks in a knife hand way. I want you to keep in mind though, that in no case will we ever do a block with just our arms and we must use our hips. So when we do the chamber, one of the things we're doing is pulling our hips back. So when we step, we can engage our hips so our body is throwing the block. And that would be the same with the middle. As we chamber, we're pulling our hips back so we can pull it forwards as we do the stepping block. So you want to practice two things. One, being able to chamber your hands correctly and for the block correctly. And two, being able to do that same correct block while engaging your hips. Practice strong. See you on the mat. Tongue Sue.